Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gamer here. I'm going to make a comparison between a simulated i5 and my 5930K, and both um, settings will be at 4.5 GHz. So, what I'm going to do is jump into my BIOS, disable two cores, and disable hyper threading to simulate the i5. And as you know, the Intel i7 5930K um, comes with six cores and six threads due to hyper threading. So, it will in essentially be a 12 core versus 4 core CPU um, comparison and this is all to do with video rendering I initially bought this CPU to help um, render my 4k content a bit faster because it does take quite a lot of time so I'm going to do something a little different I'm actually going to put together a project in front of your eyes so you can kind of have a look what a typical project would look like if you've never done video rendering before and Basically, because if you just drag and drop a single video, uh, CPU doesn't really have to do too much work. So I'll try and throw in a few transitions and uh, effects and stuff like that just to simulate what a real world project would look like. So what I've done is played five games at 4K and um, they're all at 60 FPS as well. So a 4K 60 FPS video is not the easiest thing to render in the world. Um, especially if you haven't got much CPU um, horsepower so I'm just going to quickly just edit this video it won't take too long and then I'll uh, basically get both CPUs to render the same project um, side by side so you guys can have a look and see just how much of a difference there is between them so I'll throw in a few transitions as well um, just to kind of simulate what a a real project would look like okay so that's pretty much it um, what I'm going to do now is render the video um, the settings I'm going to use um, is generally mp4 most people use that and I want to be rendering at 4k that's 3840 by 2160 um, I'm gonna edit the settings just to make sure we're also rendering it at 60 fps as well so that's 48,500 kilobytes per second so that's quite um, high quality video so what I'm gonna do now is put a timer in the top right and top left hand corner of both videos and start the rendering process at, at the same time and we can see which one finishes first.
so there you have it guys um, the Intel i7 5930k at 4.5 gigahertz was able to fully render a 60 FPS 4k video at 20 minutes um, obviously the simulated i5 is still going and I'm gonna um, just skip to the end for the interest of time and as you can see the Intel i5 took 34 minutes to complete the same video so it's about f a 14 minute increase in time it takes for an i5 to render the same task and you know you might think as, as just a normal consumer um, 14 minutes is not long but this was only an 8 minute video and if you're like a professional goes around filming events like weddings maybe graduations ceremonies things like that then you know even double the length of this one say 16 that's gonna it's gonna be an extra almost an extra 30 minutes in waiting so time is money so if you do the math you can tell um, for someone who does a lot of video editing um, it's definitely going to be worth the investment anyway guys that's pretty much the test complete hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching